at least 146 people have died, and 150 were injured in an apparent crowd surge during packed Halloween festivities in Seoul Saturday night, according to the Yongsan Fire Department chief. Here are the latest developments. Death toll could rise. With local hospitals treating dozens of injured people from the Seoul Halloween emergency, the death toll will likely increase, a local health official said. The cause of injuries and deaths in the incident has not been officially confirmed, added Choi J1, the head of Yongsan Health Center. Official blames crowd surge. A local fire official described the emergency as a presumed stampede, but the investigation is just beginning. Few details on specific injuries were provided. Yonhap News Agency reported dozens of people suffered from cardiac arrest and trouble breathing. Authorities said the emergency was not due to gas leak or fire in the popular nightclub district. They started receiving reports of people buried in the crowds there around 10.24 p.m. Witnesses observed chaotic scene. A witness said people were jammed on a narrow street and could not breathe. I saw the people going to the left side, and I saw the person getting to the opposite side. The person in the middle got jammed, so they had no way to communicate. They could not breathe. Speaking to reporters Saturday evening, U.S. President Joe Biden briefly reacted to the tragic news out of South Korea. The president said he had not yet been fully briefed, and that he would release a lengthier statement later. I will make a statement when I find out more about it. I literally just heard about it from staff on the way down in the car, Biden said outside a Delaware polling place where he cast an early vote. The president reacted with apparent shock when told the latest death toll numbers by the press. At last update, more than 140 people had died and at least 150 others were hurt, in what local officials believe was a crowd surge during packed gatherings.